This is a demonstration of the new sort data function that was recently added to Data Curve Fit Creator Add-in. The new function lets you do automatic data sorting in Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can download Data Curve Fit Creator Add-in from www.srs1software.com. Uh, okay, so the sort data function allows you to keep a set of data continuously sorted uh, in Excel. Uh, it can work on either a single column of data a single row of data or an entire table of data. And uh, a couple of the options that uh, uh, it has are you can decide if you want to, to sort ascending or sort descending order uh, for your data. Uh, also for tables, if you're sorting with tables, you decide uh, which uh, row or column of your table uh, you're going to base your sorting on. And uh, finally, there's a, an option that lets you skip blank uh, entries in your t in your input data uh, if you want and you'll see how all that works uh, I'll be demonstrating that all first I'm going to start off with just a sim really simple example I've got a, a, a column of just five values here and uh, I'm going to uh, sort that with the new function so what I do is uh, first just highlight the area where you want the results to go in this case um, I'll put them right next, uh, right next to there, and then I'll click on the function wizard. Now, all the data curve fit creator add-in functions are in the uh, user defined category uh, in Excel. So, I've got the user defined category there, and I've got the new sort data function right here. I'll click OK on there, and uh, there are a bunch of options, but I'm just right now I'm just going to not use any of the options, and I'm just going to. Uh, input the data that I want sorted and say OK. And one last trick, since we're getting an array of values back, we have to do one little special trick to get all the values back from Excel, which is uh, instead of just hitting Enter, we hit we hold down Control and Shift, and then while holding those two keys down, hit the Enter key, and then that enables Excel to give us back uh, all the values. So as you see, the values that we got back now are sorted and, and the real powerful thing is that you can it continuously sorts the data so if I change the input data I'll change that value you'll see that the the results stay sorted it automatically resorted based on uh, the new values so in this example I used a simple column of data uh, you can use a simple row of data as well I'll just do a quick quick little uh, demonstration of that as well again just I use my sort data function, I highlight my input data, say OK, do that last trick with the control shift enter, and I get my results. In this case, uh, the, the results are put into alphabetical order. Uh, and again, if I, uh, change, um, if I change one of the uh, 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 values, the resulting uh, the resulting table will automatically resort. So uh, those were some simple examples. Let me uh, uh, show you a little bit more complicated example with a table of data, and this will allow us to show you some of the uh, options that you get with the uh, sort data function. So I've got this very simple uh, example here. Let's say that this is a financial project that I'm working on, and uh, I've got a table with some sources of financing for my project. So Let's say that I want to keep a uh, a report of this uh, of this table of all my financial sources, and I want uh, I want that to be sorted. So what I'll do is uh, I'll highlight the area where I want my sorted table to be. Uh, again, I'll hit the function wizard and select my sort data function. And now I'm going to, first thing, I'm, I, I select my data. Now I'm going to select a couple extra rows as well uh, in case I want to add additional rows of data uh, to my table. Um, next, we say, do we want the, to the uh, sort to be descending or ascending order? By default, it sorts in ascending order. But uh, in this case, I want to get my, I want to list all my uh, uh, money sources with uh, the largest money source listed first. So I want it in descending order. So I'm going to say true to this here. Now next is you say which column you want to base your sorting on. 
This is the first column, the second column, the third column in my table, so I want to base my sorting on the second column, so column 2. I put a 2 in there. Now, you can optionally also uh, select a, 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 a column or row for a secondary sorting. If several of these values were equal, then let's say that I wanted to use uh, the interest value to decide the final sort. And let's say that I wanted that in descending order. So if I had two values of 3,000 here, uh, and then I would want to show the value that had the higher interest rate first, let's say, just for example. And in order to do that, I will enter values for this sort column 2 uh, uh, set of arguments. Now the first argument here is sort column 2 descending, and so I'm going to say true to that because I want uh, the interest rate values to be in descending order as well. And um, the, uh, the index of the interest column that I want the secondary sort to be done with, again this is the third column, so I'll put a 3 in there. And then the last uh, two uh, options I have is, by default, we assume if you have a table that the table is uh, vertically oriented, that your data is in columns. But if it was in, uh, if it was in, if your data was in rows, if it was a horizontally oriented table, then you would want to say true to this is horizontal argument. Uh, but it isn't. Uh, I'll just put in false for that uh, because it's a vertically oriented table. And finally, skip blanks. Uh, I just want the, uh, if there are blanks in our original table of data, uh, I just want those blanks to be skipped. Uh, and so I'll just say true to that. And uh, that's it. Now I'll say OK. And again, I've got to do the trick with the Control Shift Enter. And I have my sorted uh, data here. And again, it uh, it automatically continuously updates. If I change a value, you see that the data in my sorted table resorts, and uh, and I and uh, the data down here is always in the right order. Uh, if I add a new value, let's say I add one more entry here, and I'll just put uh, put in something here, and as soon as I finish entering that, that uh, entry was added in the proper order in the results table. So um, that's how it works. It's um, it's pretty powerful. You can imagine that uh, you know the, the, it can be uh, pretty useful to have a, a continuously sorted version of your data. Uh, it can be pretty useful for a bunch of different uh, things. Um, one final thing I will mention is that there is another uh, example of this. And uh, uh, if you go to the uh, add-ins menu and you go open up the demo workbook that ships with uh, Data Curve Fit Creator add-in. Let me do that right now, really quickly. And there are in that demo workbook, there are samples of all the functions that uh, are included in the add-in, including the sort data function. And if I uh, click there and go to that page, you can see that there are explanations about all the function arguments here. Uh, there's another sample table uh, showing how to use the how to use the uh, sort data function, along with um, explanations of all the arguments and you can change some of the argument values and see how the sort changes and, uh, uh, it's, and that will help you get uh, a better understanding uh, of uh, how to use the function. Uh, you can download uh, Data Curve Fit Creator add-in as I mentioned from srs1software.com. Uh, it's a 30-day fully functional trial so you should have plenty of uh, time to uh, play around with it and try it out without any restrictions. And now uh, we welcome any uh, feedback from you, suggestions, comments. Uh, so you can, uh, there's a, a survey form on, on the website, or you can send an email to feedback at srs1software.com. And uh, we hope you enjoy using the software. Thank you.